Um, I'm going to do just a quick video on uh, the latest version of TweetDeck, which just came out today in a pre-release version. And the great thing about it is that I noticed right away, and this was news to me, is that they're, um, they're, it, TweetDeck is now using Facebook Connect to connect with your Facebook status. Um, so, for example, all of your friends on Facebook, you know, they all have a status and they update and so forth. You can normally see that on the home page within Facebook, the stream. Okay, um, and what this will do is this will pull in that data into a separate column within TweetDeck so you can manage both Twitter and Facebook statuses within one tool. Um, so I will jump right into this. You can download it at tweetdeck.com forward slash beta forward slash. Okay, um, once you install it, you'll, um, it'll bring you to this window right here. Okay, and all you're going to do is you're just going to do the Facebook Connect thing. So if you have Facebook, um, I'm sure you've seen this before, connecting with other things like, you know, Flickr and and, uh, and everything else, friend feed and so forth. So um, basically, what it does is connecting to it's connected to Facebook right now. Okay. Um, so a couple things that you'll notice right away is that we have on the right hand side uh, two check boxes. If you just want to update your Facebook status. You could just say updating status only via tweet deck. Okay, boink, like that. Allow status updates. It's not going to do this every single time. Um, once it's connected, it's connected. I was just playing with this a few minutes ago. Um, you could also do both. So if you want to post something, you could post it to your status. Um, section on Facebook and Twitter or you can just do Twitter okay um, the other piece that you'll notice is this little button right here so if you click on that that is going to open up a new column and that column is actually your Facebook status okay now what's neat about this is that um, I'm just going to close this guy right here so we have more room <clears throat> what's neat about this is that obviously a lot of friends on Facebook they're, they're not using Twitter which is fine, um, but um, you're, some people do. For example, Olivier, he um, uses Twitter and Facebook, but this is just his Twitter account, so I'm not able to do like a reply and connect to him via Twitter. So this is just Facebook stuff over here, no Twitter stuff. Um, it might be cool if they, if at some point it was um, connected, you know, if you knew if it was a Facebook person and Twitter or just Facebook, that type of thing. Um, so these are all folks that are my friends on Facebook, and I'm seeing their updates here, um, real time. And then what I can do is I can um, retweet them on to Twitter, okay? Um, and it says Facebook retweet. So that means that I'm basically, you know, copying over the status from Facebook, okay, and and publishing it on Twitter, okay? Or I could just uh, do it on my own status as well on Facebook. Same idea. So, um, and that is that. That's the Facebook thing, which I think is really cool. So the other thing I'm going to show you is just underneath the settings section, um, a couple of changes here I noticed is that the maximum number of tweets in a column has been added. So, for example, you can just say, look, I only want like 100 um, rows of posts within each column. Okay? You can change that. Um, the usernames, you can do an autocomplete, so if you know a username, it will automatically pull it up out of your database of friends and then complete that in the post, okay? Uh, and I think everything else is pretty much the same on here. Uh, colors and fonts, I know someone last week was looking for different fonts. Still these two choices right here. Twitter API, same idea here. and. That is pretty much it. So um, one thing that I haven't really covered in great detail is this other actions piece, which I think is often overlooked because we're kind of used to like looking at the icon, reply, replying, um, you know, retweeting, direct messages, and so forth. But this other actions thing is really cool because <clears throat> what I like to do is you have a user, okay? You can add the user. This has changed a little bit now, okay? 
you can add this user to an existing group within TweetDeck. Okay, so you say add to group. It's going to open up your window. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to deselect this, and it will just add it to existing groups that you have. Okay. Um, the other piece that you can do here is you can follow or unfollow. Um, view the profile is going to open up a new browser and it will just show you their Twitter web page. Okay? One thing that I like to do a lot is um, click on search. Okay? This may give me... Okay, great. So I like to do the search because what it will do is it will give me kind of an, a real-time you know, stream of either people that are replying to this user or things that this user is saying. And what I can do is just quickly go down here and just see what Amy's up to. And, you know, if she's written a blog post, I can, you know, reply, reply to it. Or um, if she needs help, I can reply to her. Or I can retweet something. Um, I have just hijacked Elizabeth Strauss's blog to post about the Wizard of Oz. Interesting. So I'm going to retweet that and then read that later. Okay. And then, um, ba -ba -bum. So there's that. That's often overlooked is that search piece. Uh, and then within this um, tweet, you can email uh, the tweet back to yourself, whatever this, um, you can email this tweet to someone. I don't know if many people do that. Um, translating, untranslating, favorite, you can favor this tweet. You can mark it as read or you can delete it. Okay. So that this, this section right here has changed a little bit since the last version but it's pretty much the same functionality. It's just a different way of getting around it. And that is it. So that's the latest on TweetDeck, and I hope everybody's doing well. Bye.